everyone. It's Suzanne Tucker with Generation Mindful, and I've missed you with Thanksgiving last week. I took the week off, and that's actually going to be the inspiration for today. So our mantra today is, we pull it out here, it is, my forgiveness heals. It's the last part of the message from Violet Elephant. She has to say, when I hold love in my heart, my forgiveness heals. So we're going to be focusing on that last part, all right? So wherever you are, you know the drill. We're going to let everything go for about 30 seconds. Just breathe, pull in the mantra, break it down, see where we're resisting it, and then bring it back in playfully and practically. And I want to do a big shout out to my Aunt Claire, who is hopefully listening. She's um, not going to say how old, but I know she's older than my mom, and my mom's 80. And she inspired today's talk. Today's Feelings Friday. So, hey, Aunt Claire, I told you I'd give you a shout out. We are going to be talking about family today and this idea of my forgiveness heals. So, wherever you are, even if you're driving, take a moment to hit the pause button. If you're not driving, close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, and practice just putting everything down. Put it down. Do we even realize how much we're carrying with us through the day? I do, because when I do these little moment check-ins during the day, I close my eyes and I notice how much I'm carrying. And then what I do is I just practice putting it down, taking a deep breath in, deep breath out. Sometimes I have to convince myself, you know what, Suzanne? It's gonna be there later when you need to pick it back up, but just put it down. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Breathing in, my forgiveness, breathing out, heals. Breathing in, my forgiveness, breathing out, heals. Very true and very powerful words. All right, so let's break this down. So what I think about with mantras, I always look for where am I getting stopped? And there is nothing like family, right, especially extended family at the holiday time, for all of us to be triggered, right? All the old wounds, all the inner child stuff comes straight on up, right? Sometimes we're not even aware of them, but we feel them unconsciously. We're like, why am I so triggered by my sister, by my brother, by my aunt, by my mother, right? We don't even know why, but we know we are. So the invitation today is when we are with family to take it on as an invitation to further our mindfulness practice and we don't need to understand the trigger all we want to do is be with it we can actually heal our triggers just by being holding love active and present breathing right and letting go of the head around everything where we want it to be logical we want to understand we want it to be right and sometimes it's beyond logic, it's beyond reason. It's a place for healing and growth and forgiveness. Forgiveness is something that happens inside our hearts. It's not something we give to other people. And that's where we get it wrong. If somebody done us wrong, we think, how could I forgive them? They done me wrong. But that's because we have a faulty definition of forgiveness. Forgiveness is holding the vibration of love, active and present in the face of something. And that is the healing that we are doing inside ourselves, right? That's how people are able to forgive things that, are, that seem unacceptable, unforgivable, because they're doing forgiveness as an inner process in themselves. So Aunt Claire, I wish you all could be my Aunt Claire. She's like a big Southern hug. That's my Aunt Claire. And she's like a y'all, you know? And I think of Aunt Claire, yoo-hoo! She'd come in the house. I was best friends with my cousin Alice growing up. We were like this, twins. And so Alice was the baby of the family, and I was her buddy, and I was over there all the time. And I gotta tell you, my Aunt Claire, she comes in the house, yoo-hoo! You'd hear this sweet sound. And I was talking to Aunt Claire about our community over the holidays. And what I wanted to share with you guys is that it's so awesome that my Aunt Claire in her 80s, when she heard about Generation Mindful and what we're doing, was so excited. The idea that we were just simply teaching kids 
and making it safe for kids to feel, teaching kids about emotions and making it safe to feel. She loved it. And I promised her we would, uh, we would be pulling her in and saying hi. So today with My Forgiveness Heals, we've looked at where we might be confronted. We might be confronted with family, right? And I want you to know that I have family that I hear stories of that are, you know, funny stories in our family that I think, you know, those are not the practices we are teaching. For example, my grandpa, I'm told, if you were caught sniffing your food, would just take your head and push it down. Let's say it was a plate of spaghetti. And we all laughed at that. We thought, oh, isn't that funny? But truly, 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 that is outside the bounds of parenting with mindfulness, with respect, with modeling the behaviors we are wanting. And truthfully, just knowing that that could happen to me as a kid, I'm sitting at a table, I'm going to be sort of anxious and full of fear, right? And I probably will not sniff my food. But there's a, another way to teach children about not sniffing food. And so when we think about family, maybe it's our own parents, maybe it's our grandparents, and we look at the practices they were using, I want us to remember that they come from a different age, that they were raised with different practices. And I know if I were sitting with my Bino today, who's in heaven, who I never got to meet, we would love each other so much that there would be so much love in the space. And that even though his practices might have been things that I myself would not be doing, that underneath it is this love, is this connection. And that, you know, we could probably have a really good conversation about that parenting strategy he's using. And I'll bet with the evidence that I have, I could open his eyes to another way. And even if I couldn't, even if you have family members where that's not possible, you can still find that forgiveness for you in your heart and let go of changing them, or having to fix them. So remember, this is our violet elephant telling us my forgiveness heals and noticing our feelings. That's what she's here to do to help us do with our snuggle buddy. When am I sad? When am I happy? When am I calm? And when am I angry or scared? This is the practice. This is what we're helping kids do. We're making it safe to feel. So this week, see if you can think of one place that you're feeling stopped with forgiveness. What is begging for your forgiveness or who is? What or who in your life is looking for your love, for softness, for forgiveness? Type it in the comments so we can hold that space for and with you. Mwah! Yoo-hoo! Love y'all. Bring in a little inner Aunt Claire this week. Have some fun. Give a little shout out. yoo with your family. And um, I want you all to know I love you so much. I will not miss another week. I really missed you last week. Um, have a great, great, fabulous weekend. And pull in our mantra. Bye-bye.